Praise the Lord, the Lord is good. And His mercies and theirs forever. You're in a relationship. But do you know what the people of the world mean? When they say they're in a relationship, as in, I have a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend, you know, I have a dating partner, or I'm in dating. When they say all these things, we, if you are spiritual and living holy, you just assume your own youthfulness that God barely helps some of us to stay virgin. So it's a matter of pushing somebody and say, no, 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 I don't want to get pregnant. Leave me, leave me, I'm going, I'm going. Even if it's the last breath, see how God helped me. I didn't know I was very close to the edge of hell. Because some people just do one tenth of some sins of others and they are gone. They can't retreat back. From pregnancy to, I don't know you, this or that or. And do you know that um, I was watching one of these, um, my people, Jacob Israel of African Nigerian origin. Because I say Nigeria, I keep saying Nigeria, I'm not biased. It is Africa within Nigeria. And then within Africa also you see Nigeria. Just like a grandfather is the Nigeria that has a grandson. That is called Africa. Grandson. I didn't say son. And within that grandson is the day, day of Nigeria. So we are now in the mindset, grandson area of Africa, Nigeria. But if we go up, the whole head is Nigeria. Because Adam, Reuben, Judah, that lineage of Israel. is African Nigerian. But if you want me to talk more about all this scripturally, we say, why do you think the Lord went to the most spiritual time of even Egypt to hide? Because he blends with them. Even as the Holy One of Israel, he blends with African Nigerian people of Egypt. Rather than going to Russia or going to Greek, they say, what do you this one they do here? When I went many years ago, the only holiday I think I ever had, I just took, I was working then. I just took my three wonders. I went on holiday. Since I tried to invite or tell my start, let's go, let's go, it's too busy, it's too busy. I just went with the children. But my point here is, I went to Spain. We were booked on a holiday, one week, then holiday, eat twice a day, hotel, all-inclusive flights, about a thousand pounds. I thought it was even cheap. That's why I realized I've not been going on holiday. I thought it's so expensive. So for three children and me, adult, I went. Well, my point is that even though I can't remember very well now, even though they might likely be one or two other people you see around that are African, ethnic, you know, wonderfully and beautifully made. You see that um, there was that a bit more, just not too much, a bit more people that are crowded outside because it's a like, sunny place for holiday. And at a sunny time we went. As a crowd maybe taking their drinks in an open bar by the road or something. Walking by, you see so you see that more than usual glances at us. As though what are we looking for here? I said all that to say, if the Lord Yeshua was escaping Herod, that is from Esau. As they call themselves King Herod. Today now they say they are King Charles. Kingship and queenship was never given to him. So, they are rulers. Go and see the scripture from Genesis. They are called rulers. They rule, they enforce, they enslave. That is how they are. By their title, you know them. They are the ones to enslave their older brother. Even though they came out twins. It is Esau that enslaved the African Jacob Israel. But today I came here to share one verse that seems to 
B, as I talk about and commenting more actively in comments. That's why with my phone, every other two weeks, I try to go and remove at least the older comments. For other comments, some are seen immediately, seems once in a while. I say, oh, or if you get a like, somebody tells you, the, the notification tells you. But my point is that there's one that is just being even responded to yesterday, two weeks later. It's like only me, I'm seeing my comments, so nobody's seen. That's their own. I'm not bothered. Host of heaven, heaven knows my work that I do. It's more than the ones that are seen by men. It's when you're all busy, men are seeing you all over the place, but God does not see you. That's the one you don't want. They know you all over, all over. You leave your covenant marriage, your covenant home. And I'm not just talking about women. I'm talking about men too. But if I tell you some things women have done in this so-called Europe, talking about uh, London, United Kingdom, America, and other places, because of money. And to see that this money, you send it to look big to those at home who squander it. Very soon, amongst the teaching, I'm going to tell you how I was a millionaire in Naira. Nobody come and think I'm a millionaire. I have to put it there. If I were to send money as I used to do last month, I could have sent up to three million to somebody somewhere. I don't even know whether a land can be bought for three million. <laughs> I had that money. I'll tell you within another video for those who are consistent here. If you are just two or three, those sat in the house of Mary and Martha, two sisters, and patiently was teaching the one who will listen to spiritual food while the other was busy with physical food. So Martha now is one of the ones that thinks she knows the Lord. She's one of the ones that if she doesn't put her heart together, as she goes on to her marriage, she dare not be a sufferer. She dare rather be an Abigail. Who will say no to her husband? I'm not going to lie with you. Are you not supposed to be an elder in this uh, congregation of God's people? You say I should lie with you, we should keep part of the money. This is where the Safira will say, Ah, if I hold your marriage, if I were to hold my marriage, I'll consider my marriage to the king of glory first. I don't lose that one. I don't want to lose it. Judas was more concerned about what we gain on earth. He lost everything that was prepared for him in heaven. Judas is carried out to be betrayed. I mean, because some of you may be thinking I'm talking about Judah. No, Judah and Judas are two opposites. Judah is a lion of Israel who was bold enough to lay his life down. Because Judah is the body of Yeshua. Israel is his soul. Abu is his spirit. Yes, one. If I do like this now, my body, my spirit, my soul is living. So you can't separate their own merge. Well, that is when you are even looking at me physically because my soul could be in heaven, standing, awake, alert, and my body may be resting here at night. And then my soul will be also awake in the spirit realm. Let me not confuse many people. I came here, I wanted to do short, short, short video, Janet. Short video. So as I'm answering these comments, I say this our mega pictures. I don't really prepare our youth because most youth listen to some of us individual who have channel as we go out for the Lord and be his preachers. Pastors does not mean preachers. If we know the real meaning of pastor, you are a pastor not because you rent a place and people should come to you. You are supposed to be like a pastor priest in the time of Levite. They didn't have big uh, building, everybody come to them for service and all this. No. Allah was supposed to be a priest of the Lord. 
the Levites were the tribe. If you hear me saying ten, nine tribes were carried away because the eleventh tribe, the Lever tribe, as you say, they are not supposed to have an allotment as one people. They are supposed to be scattered through the rest of the other tribes of Israel so that they are like today's pastors. You can say, oh, there's a pastor who lived there. Do you know how Babalao is? Uh -huh. Not in any way, you know, suggesting how wicked Babalao and evil and satanic they are. Some of you think they are saviors to you. You are confused. You are deluded. They know that anybody that comes to them, they have more demons to follow that person. More as you come back, is the demons that will be communicated to them. Since they are sold out to death and destruction and hellfire, so they have all these uh, whatever assets. You say, ah, how did they know the last night they fought? The demon is there. Even before you get there, they are in front, just in about you. So when they have heard the now tell you did this, did that, you think they are God, they have gift of the spirit. No. They are open to the demonic world. One was casting out supposedly, you know, demons from a girl. I think I showed you one of my videos. He wore white and red. Before I even knew what was going to happen, I said this one now he is an example of Holy Ghost. Holy is white. The red is where the ghost is. Say, so wore red cap or so, or white cap or red. It just means white and red, like white garment. My guy was casting the spirit of the demon out. You know, so who don't know that they are on the same line. When you say Holy Ghost, you are talking about them. His beginning was holy. His ending was fire, red. He's in the fiery ghost area of God's consuming fire. Hebrews 12, 29. So, my point is that after a while, it seems that he was even having some results. But later I began to say, hey, 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 as if somebody is beating him. And the others watching were like, what's happening? They can't see who is beating him. He said, see him, see him, he's beating me. Their eyes have been open, they can see. If the demons want them to see that. So you are the one that cast me out. Or something. They are all in the same group. You see a system of darkness. They still have R.I.K. They still have their own copy. copy. They want to do R.I.K. like the righteous ones. So that uh, one is told, get out. And they solve a problem. It doesn't mean it was God. Yeah, so in my comment, long story short, I realized that our youth, they would rather follow the multitude of mega churches preacher. Who say they are preacher because they are pastor? You are supposed to be a pastor like a, I was saying, known in your home, in your temple, in your household, to be a man of God. They call you out, or people come to you like they go secretly to Babalao. There's one Baba somewhere, somewhere there. This is how they used to. Pass in a more holy way. Ah, there's a Levite living here. There's a Levite there. The Levite have a system they know how to spread out so that they don't just accumulate themselves in one side of Israel. They are spread out. Maybe don't stay within 30 minutes of each other, just spread out. As you see in Judges chapter 8, Dan tribe that's always worker, 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 worker. Some people wonder why there's so many Yoruba groups. In Lome, in Togo, in different places apart from Nigeria, those are likely a tribe of Dan. They speak Yoruba like Judah because Dan is part Yoruba, part Esau. So you see that they can speak as they are today Yoruba and English. Most of us, Yoruba and English, is because we are in the body, fresh timeline. So, you see, we speak Yoruba, we speak English. It's our children that will best after 2000 that are mainly English, English, English. Even the ones in Nigeria now. You know, when we're in Nigeria, we used to tell our children, speak English, because a lot of people around there are speaking Yoruba. 
Speak English. In a way, it's a positive advice. In a way, it's a negative. So, in a way, I'll say, why would we be stressing our children to learn the language of our enemies? At least let them learn their own language. First is my point. The one they know the language of their enemy, they can overcome their enemies. No. Because if you hear what they are discussing about you, then you can shout out and cry out. Like those of them. Uh, you cry, no? You know, who knew what they were saying? Ah, no, no, stay here. It's only the, the wise people going. You stay here. No, those who carry themselves there to go and study, you know that. So these people don't like us. They want us to, to die under our bomb blast. Yeah. You don't know before that you'll be hated by the world of Gentiles. But now, because of what they want to get from you, they want you to keep you happy. You see what I use? Happy, superficial. Not joyful. They can't make you joyful. But they can keep you happy. Joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit in dwelling. According to Galatians 5, 22 to 23. They want to keep you happy. Because by now, you should have been in the pent of your room. Asking to be sealed for the coming transformation. But you are just happy that you are peace. You are peace. So the wicked are not troubling you. You are just happy. Because they don't want you to see the need to even... Go to go to the place of you hearing, stay in the pent room, in prayer, in fasting, seek me. Until God knows those who are in the pent of their mind. He renews their mind. He seals them for the coming transformation. It is transformation that will happen in the twinkling of an eye. They say rapture. Rapture has happened. Matthew 27, 50-54. I came here to share one question. I'm not going to be up to 30 minutes by God's grace. As I watch the comments, youth, please, I want to ask you. I know that the gene ration of Lucifer, as we went from spiritual body timeline of the Apostle of Pentecost to the body body time of the first 1000, then the body flesh of the next 500 years, it is until the last 500 years that we see the flesh vertical producing the Bible. A body flesh version. Half correct, half twisted. According to 2 Peter 3, 16, no. Half holy, half, you know, with lies, according to Jeremiah 88. Yes. And so God will judge them. The very root of producing these Bibles in mass production. God will judge them. Esau, Edom, Vatican, Rome. Who said they are the head of the church? They will come out and tell you they are the head of the church because they have built church, body, flesh for them, their father. Even now that we are in a flesh, flesh after 2000, Esau has gone underground. Do they have underground bases? I'm waiting for Revelation 6, 12 to 17 to happen. They think by the time the Lord cast the rock in Daniel chapter 2, that will end the dominion of world over the body of Christ. They will have their underground bases to hide. As they hide from the wrath of the Lamb of God. Lamb of God, upon the throne, you are worthy to be praised. So I said I will not be more than 30 minutes. Yesterday, as I wrote in my study book, this verse, let me go and read it so that I will not be more than 30 minutes, as I said. I'm active when I'm not posting. I'm learning from whom I can learn from. There is good still in many people. Somebody can say a word without realizing that she has even been a blessing to me. Look at what that person says. 
even like I was sharing on a video, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of Yeshua, not a man. The title also of General Overseer, according to, if I can remember that place. Then night, I don't want to be more than 30 minutes. In First Peter, let me see if I can find it. First Peter chapter 2. For you were like sheep, verse 25. You were like sheep going astray. But now you have returned to the shepherd and general overseer of your soul. It's where that verse is. They removed the general and put it up on man. And some of you still call them. You're going to be judged by what you, you are saying. You say it's just general eh, you'll be judged for every idle word. According to Matthew 12, we are starting 6, 37. So let me just go to this Deuteronomy 20. Two, but I find needing to repeat so many times, but if you start repeating it in one place, in that place, you two will begin to say, yeah, don't let your comment be spam. How is this spam? Those who are posting rubbish there, they should go and stop those ones. You should see how I reply them. I reply them so God will know that. No, I'm not begging you to have a, a YouTube channel. If you close this one, I'll open another one. Until God says, stop opening. Listen, no youth, who wants to make heaven? Because this mega ones, I don't think they are preparing you for heaven. The generation of Lucifer at this end time is falling mainly upon those births after 2000. Go to that list. If you are in any, any, just one out of all, and some of you carry like six, seven more of those uh, lists. Or 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. God says in verse 5, stay away from those people. If God says stay away from them, you know you have friend that this character is upon them. I don't even know how to speak the English because I'm rushing now. They are the characters of Lucifer falling more at the time of the end, flesh. You go to bar, you go to club, you go to all these places that doesn't have the name of the Lord there. Even if you are going to a sister's house, it should be for fellowship, meeting. You know, talking because even if you don't call it fellowship, where two or three of God's people are gathered, God still has his angels listening. And so in Malachi chapter 3, 6, 6, 18, the Lord is talking about a book of remembrance. Don't think that it's only when you go to a place called church, you want to speak. Ah, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You come in your house. Even your argument with your spouse, make sure you know what you're saying. Still talk the scriptures. So that at the end of the day, it won't be as if you have a culture of just saying you are this, you are that. You don't give the scripture. Now, see the scripture. I want to read. It's almost 30 minutes. If a man happens to meet a virgin who is not pledged to be married and seduces her, this NIV says, and rapes her, and they are discovered. Verse 29. He shall pay her father 50 shekels of silver. He must marry the young woman, for he has violated her. He can never divorce her as long as he lives. So let me read also Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Reads, if a man seduces a virgin who is not pledged to be married and sleeps with her, he must pay the bride price and she shall be his wife. Youth, male, sleeping with female virgins with a sign and evidence there as in spotting red, you know, when the hymen is broken. You know this is a virgin. She tells you she's a virgin. There's all the other symptoms there to know that this is a virgin. Do you know for you wanting to go to heaven, you are supposed to obey the scriptures you don't want to read? In Exodus 22, talking to the children of Israel, 
and their generations down this valley. For God is still coming for Israel. Romans 11, 26 says. So those of you that say you are a believer, you are a Christian, you are Israel, you are of the earth, all this qualification, it must be all in all. You don't want to follow the Lord. He says, come to me, all who are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Follow me. I will make you. We are supposed to be in my kingdom. I will make you fishers of men. You don't fish for men. Huh? They are there still eating unclean animal, unclean uh, fish of Titus. You don't go out and evangelize. God will be ashamed of you in his kingdom when he comes. If you don't go and embolden yourself by asking the Holy Spirit to embolden you and come upon you and go out there to evangelize. So, the word of God says to you, because these mega preachers do not preach the cocoa, the details. They just summarize everything for you and say, you believe in the Lord Yeshua? Ah, one say, they don't even call his name Yeshua most of the time. Exodus 22, 16, read again. If a young man, a youth, seduces a virgin, I love you to return. You are my girlfriend, you are the only one. You are there using his mouth. To smart someone to fall. You are the embodiment of Lucifer. That is making the woman of Eve fall. I want to keep to my words. God bless you for listening. Shalom. Worthy is a lamb. Worthy is a lion. Worthy is a lamb of God. Worthy is a lamb. What is a lion? What is a lamb of God? He who died and rose up high, opened up the book and broke of the seal. What is a lamb? What is a lion? Was he the Lamb of God?